And so you've recently um, made this film, uh, which are we cool to talk about American Gods? Sure, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, um, so I... Um, I think we should talk, you know, I think we should talk. Yeah. Which is why... why so I've watched it a few times and I first thought, I can't watch this. And then I kept watching it. Yeah, I mean, it's, so yeah, it's always a bit, it's always a bit bittersweet, American Gods, because I, I think it's a really beautiful thing. Um, but also it's such a tragic moment. Eff effectively, the, the film is about one's relationship to the, to the city and the power dynamics that exists within it. And, um, and the conflicting images that we are presented with. And that's summarized at, by juxtaposing two dominant bits of footage. One is um, the kind of brutal murder of, of George Floyd, which lasts for, I mean, in real life, that was around eight minutes. And the, and the film is about five minutes. Um, and the other is the incredible performance by Beyonce at Madison Square Garden. I, I, it gives me a chuckle because there's that they shouldn't quite go together. But what I was trying to do at that moment was to process my reaction to transmitted or received American culture. You know, this it's a commentary on this transatlantic relationship between the UK and the Americas, which and and an America which has been our, our dominant power and, and still our dominant cultural power, I, I would say. And just to try and compute that somehow. So over set over the top of those two um consistent bits of footage. And the, the reason I use the George Floyd footage, and it's interesting to hear you hear you speak about it is because I found that most people didn't watch that killing to the end. And, and there's a lot of rhetoric, and I was a bit, uh, yeah, I, I was a bit tentative to make the work. There's a lot of rhetoric about whether you should be proliferating that form of, of image. But that image and that footage for me is really powerful and is the reason why we're having so many heated and open and possibly and hopefully transformative conversations that we're having today but what i found is that most people had never watched it and it doesn't get any easier after after you know most people had watched a couple of minutes and thought i can't watch this and to to see the life extinguished from a man who pleads for his life is a really sombering um, act. So, um, well done you for watching it a number of times. I know yeah, and I hadn't, I had not watched the film before, mm. uh, and I never planned to. Um, so it, and uh, so, and you've written this essay in Elephant Magazine, sort of accompanying it, and it was really powerful to read that whilst watching it. So you describe this as a video artwork that you created to process the contemporary black narrative of brutal struggle against the counterpoint of celebratory resistance. And I think we keep coming back to this juxtaposition in your own work, which is this, the murder of George Floyd against this performance by Beyonce and then this amazing musical composition by Kanye West. And so we, we've come back a couple of, you know, you talked about Kim Kardashian and we're talking about these two incredible global superstars. In this case, they're obviously mm. black and they're powerful. And you've also talked about the idea of the body and when you're enslaved and you have to, you're, you're cut off from thousands of years of history and culture, what do you have left? You have your music, your voice, your body, your dance. And mm. so in terms of this, you know, and coming back to the idea of you uh, and your own practice, whether as an architect or a filmmaker or, or as somebody who's trying to tell this story, I'm very interested as to why you chose this particular performance and what is your goal? Like why, you know, at the end of this, for yourself as a process, you made this right mm. after, it came mm. out very soon after. Mm. Um, what made you go into this space uh, to, to create this film? Did you know you were gonna make a film out of it? And then where do you think it's gonna go and where do you wanna take it, if anywhere? 
Yeah. yeah so there, I mean, there, there's a, the question there is, is about process, I suppose, and then and then then ambition. I think mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll deal with them sequentially. I suppose at that moment, I felt like I must do something. I must mm -hmm. do something to record this moment, and that's what leads to its title. That's the the date, the dates at the end of that uh, of American Gods, mm -hmm. is is the date in which George Floyd was was murdered, and I wanted to memorialize that in in some way. I feel I feel like it's a really important date in our in our lives, and and is one I, I won't for, forget. And it coming in the midst of uh, a pandemic, also. Um, just to process that kind of the stress that was was going on and existed at, at that moment, um, and you know, and as a as a black British man, yeah, and I wa I wanted to make the and this is why I, I say I am processing the transatlantic relationship in some ways because yes, there is a lot of police brutality and at the sur surface level and abuse of power that exists in the states, but that also exists here. In, in the UK. And there's, there's a lot of good films that are being made about that, actually. I just watched a really good film by, by, by Kano about, about that. Um, and so overlaid on top of these, these, two, these, these two contrasting images are a series of stills. Um, and overlaid on top of the stills uh, are a series of names. And those, and those are the names of people who have been killed in police, lost their life in police custody in the UK. And so the the statement I'm making is that this is not, we are, we are very much dealing with an American instance right now. And we are receiving this piece of American culture, whether it be a positive culture or, or a negative culture. But how we receive that and the reason why it resonates is because it is a shared experience. We understand that. We understand that there's the, the death of, of smiley culture. And not too long ago, we had we had riots, you know, within the last ten years in in London due to the the shooting of an of a of an unarmed man. So it, it's raw and it exists within our society.